Hey folks, Dave here. Uh, I appreciate you stopping by for another video today, and I uh, hope everyone's doing well. If you're uh, new to the channel, I hope you uh, learned something for the video and enjoy watching. Uh, so today we're just going to do a short tutorial on setting up the layout for your uh, light burn workspace. Uh, you can see how mine is set up now. I'm just going to go up to Window. And I'm going to reset to default. And anytime your layout gets to the point you don't like the way it looks, just reset it and start over again. So I'm going to go down to the bottom and remove this color palette. Uh, so you can what's on the screen now is what uh, Lightburn has learned are the most most used objects. So they give us that as a default layout, and then they give us the options to uh, modify it beyond that. So if you look off to the left for these tools, you see the little dotted lines, and that lets you know that you can move these around. And you'll get a, um, a blue color. Well, you'll get a changing color. Mine is blue on here, but if the color changes, it'll let you drop it and put it there. Uh, so I'm going to put mine back over here before I get too far off track. Uh, so I'm going up to Window. And I'm going to put back the things that I know I reset, like the Art Library. And it's here, but if you grab this top uh, area here, the header, you can move that. And once you get that changing color, again, mine's blue, you can drop it in place. I'm going to go back to Window, and I'm going to put Shape Properties, and it's going to put that over here, and that comes into play uh, when you draw out a shape, for instance, here uh, on the Polygon, Shift, and draw one out, and then you can go over to uh, Shape Properties, and you can change the number of sides with it, but that's for another video. In fact, I'll put a link to it down in the description, and certainly if you knew, you can go check it out. So, let me get rid of that. And I will put the color palette back down at the bottom here. And again, that's under Window and here. And if since it has the dotted lines on the side, I could move that around. We could drop it there, which don't look too bad. Take it up top. Uh, that actually gives a little more room at the bottom, but I like it on the bottom. So your layout, where it will allow you uh, to move things to, depends on uh, the size of your monitor. So uh, if you're on a large monitor, you may have a few more options uh, than what you have here. And I believe it also, yeah, it'll let you start another layer up here on the, the header, the tool header. I'm going to put mine there before I confuse myself. Uh, you can see the different tabs that you also have. Cuts and layers, your movement control, console, shape properties. And you can move these around. You just grab a tab, move it left or right. And put it where you want but uh, I think that's it so uh, hopefully you can get your layout to the way you like it if uh, if you have questions after watching this video just drop them down in the comments and I'll uh, get back to you if you uh, if you have questions about any of the, the tutorials or the projects that we do on here uh, just ask away and I will answer your questions as best I can I'll put links to the tutorials and projects down in the, uh, the description for you to go check out. And if you haven't seen them all, I'm sure there's something in there that uh, would be helpful or you might enjoy doing. So thanks again for watching and helping the channel grow. And uh, y'all just take care and we'll see you next time. Thank you. 